Welcome to Anomalous Archives. I'm Stefan, and today, we're diving into the shadows of the SCP Foundation. In the depths of Biological Research Area 12 lies SCP-020, the Invisible Mold, a Keter-class anomaly. It hides in plain sight, affecting the living and the dead. Join us as we uncover the horrors of SCP-020. Special Containment Procedures In the containment of SCP-020 at Biological Research Area 12, sealed cultivation chambers are used within a special containment room. This room can only be accessed via an airlock, making it highly secure. Surveillance cameras within this room are hermetically sealed and undergo daily checks to ensure they're intact. To maintain safety, personnel entering the containment area must wear biosafety level 5 gear, including rebreathers. After leaving, they must undergo a thorough antifungal disinfection process. These stringent measures are in place to prevent any breaches and contain the invisible menace of SCP-020 effectively. Description SCP-020, also known as the Invisible Mold, is a highly contagious fungal organism with a unique and chilling ability. This anomaly can manipulate the senses and behavior of living beings, particularly humans. What's truly disturbing is that SCP-020 is virtually invisible to the naked eye, even under a microscope. It can only be seen through photographic or video surveillance. Once SCP-020 establishes a colony, typically within a human residence, it starts producing spores that influence the behavior of those nearby. Affected individuals unwittingly create an environment conducive to the growth of SCP-020 by increasing heat and humidity within their homes. Strangely, they also become more sociable, often inviting others into their homes, unwittingly aiding the spread of this malevolent organism. Even more horrifying is the fact that these spores and mold colonies are invisible to the affected individuals, and sometimes, they can grow directly on living subjects. As the concentration of spores and colonies in a home reaches a critical level, the health of the affected humans deteriorates rapidly, ultimately leading to their demise. SCP-020 was initially discovered in Redacted where it caused dramatic personality changes in local hospital personnel. Upon investigation, it was revealed that a significant number of civilians had been infected, along with a substantial portion of the town's population. In response, the civilian population was terminated, and the town was incinerated under the guise of a forest fire. Since then, there have been over 12 reported outbreaks of SCP-020 worldwide prompting ongoing investigations to uncover its source and potential preventive measures. The Invisible Threat SCP-020's insidious nature extends beyond the unseen mold. Affected individuals unknowingly create the ideal environment for SCP-020's growth. They increase heat and humidity within their homes, providing a nurturing haven for this hidden terror. These individuals often become unusually sociable, inviting others into their homes, all the while spreading the organism further. What makes this threat even more disturbing is that affected individuals remain entirely oblivious to the mold growing on them or around them. As the concentration of spores and mold colonies within a home approaches a critical level, the health of these individuals deteriorates at an alarming rate, ultimately resulting in their demise. The true horror of SCP-020 lies in its ability to manipulate human behavior, transforming unwitting hosts into agents of its own propagation. It's a subtle and deadly force that thrives in the shadows, evading detection until it's too late. The Origins and Outbreaks SCP-020's origins are shrouded in mystery, with its first documented encounter occurring in Redacted an SCP agent undercover in the area noticed alarming personality changes among local hospital personnel. Upon investigation by a containment team, it was discovered that a significant number of civilians had been infected, and a substantial portion of the town's population had fallen under SCP-020's influence. In response to this dire situation, drastic measures were taken. The civilian population was terminated, and the town was incinerated under the cover of a localized forest fire. 
The darkness of SCP-020's origins serves as a haunting reminder of the potential consequences of this invisible menace. Since that initial encounter, over 12 outbreaks of SCP-020 have been reported worldwide, sending shockwaves through the SCP Foundation. Ongoing investigations are in progress to unveil the source of these outbreaks and to develop preventative measures to contain this enigmatic and terrifying anomaly. Addendum 020-01 The mission recordings from Mobile Task Force Ada-10 during the initial containment of SCP-020 provide a chilling first-hand account of the horrors faced by Foundation personnel. Team 2 moving to the Red House! Copy. UAV-1 is picking up one heat signature. Team 2 in place, ready to breach. Door opening! At this point, a civilian woman appeared in the doorway, holding a kitchen knife. Video surveillance showed that nearly two-thirds of her face was covered by mold growths. Well, hello there, gentlemen. Care to take a breather inside? On the ground! Drop the weapon! Don't be silly. Come on in and stay a while. Stop where you are. Drop the weapon. We, we just want to have some guests. Please, come in. Drop the weapon. It is assumed that at this point, the infected civilian noticed T2-4 carrying a primed incendiary weapon and lunged forward at the team members with the knife. Data expunged. Open fire! Open fire! This harrowing addendum provides a glimpse into the terrifying encounters faced by Foundation personnel as they confronted SCP-020's insidious influence during containment. Conclusion The tale of SCP-020, The Invisible Mold, is a chilling journey into the darkest recesses of the SCP Foundation's archives. This malevolent anomaly, hidden from sight but not from surveillance, preys on human senses and behaviors, turning unsuspecting hosts into agents of its own propagation. As we've uncovered the containment procedures, the description of the threat, its sinister origins, and the alarming outbreaks, the true horror of SCP-020 has been laid bare. It's a reminder that even the unseen can be the most terrifying. But our exploration doesn't end here. The SCP Foundation continues to investigate, striving to uncover the source of these outbreaks and to develop measures to prevent further contagion. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the unsettling world of SCP-020. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the unknown, remember to subscribe, like this video, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on more chilling SCP stories and anomalies. Stay curious, stay cautious, and may you never encounter the invisible terrors that hide in plain sight.